So we've been looking into the scary, disgusting and despicable things that go on in the world and the things that the Hollywood elites are involved in. And today I'm going to be adding another witch to our witches of Hollywood. And that person is none other than Hillary Clinton. And the reason why I'm talking about her today is because the media, which I've talked about on this channel at length, so definitely check those videos out if you want to know why they're so problematic, because they are. Um, the media went out of their way to destroy and cover up a lot of information that was supposed to come out about her, despite feeling totally fine to expose all this information and demand information, in fact, of President Donald Trump. So in this video, I'm going to be telling you guys about the very scary um, connections that Hillary has to the disgusting and demonic things that go on in Hollywood and with the, ho and with the world's elites. So welcome to Queen of TV. I keep forgetting to say this in some of my videos because I'm too busy like, <gasps> you guys need to know this. So basically, what I discovered is this term walnut sauce. Now, I talked about this term walnut sauce in one of my videos. I talked about it because just watch the video let's just say that for now because if i just try and like shorten it now it's going to be like so much information in one go that you're going to be like how could you just hit me with all of that without explaining yourself so definitely check out that video but pretty much that term that i mentioned in that video actually derived from the executive campaign the campaign executive of hillary clinton john podesta who coined that phrase now walnut sauce as i mentioned in that video is what the Hollywood and just demonic people of the world, I've talked mainly about Hollywood because that's mainly what my channel is about, but also just the, the elites in the world use or take um, to, um, what do you call it, A, for anti-aging, and I talked about that in, in previous videos, why they are so obsessed with anti-aging and why these guys are more afraid than death than even we are, but also because um, of other effects that it has. And I talked about it also being a hallucinogenic, and therefore, you know, how that can also, you know, open up portals to the spiritual world. Now, I know this all sounds crazy. And one of the reasons why, one of the things I think they did extremely well is by making us think that a lot of these things sound wild. by Because we've seen it in TV, because we've seen it in movies. And that's why I think the entertainment industry is actually the most powerful industry in terms of um, controlling people. Because if you see something on TV and you think, oh, it's just TV, it's just TV. Oh, it was just a movie. It was just this. Then you're very... When you hear it in real life, when somebody suggests that it's happening in real life, you're going to be like, no, that's not true. That's not real. But what I'm trying to say to you guys is that how about the fact that they did that on purpose so that when we do discover it, because there's going to be evidence, if you're killing children to, to, to then be cannibals and take from them and drink their blood and all sorts, which is exactly what they do, by the way, guys. If they do that, it only makes sense for them to make it put those things into movies and stuff. So then we say when when somebody like me says stuff like this in a YouTube video, you go, oh, no, that only happens in movies. Oh, no, that's not real. Do you see what I'm coming from? And I think that's exactly what they do. I think they do that on purpose so that that's how we think and that's how we feel. And Hillary Clinton, like I said, this came and the, the funny, the, not the funny thing. The incredible thing about this piece of information is that it actually came from the founder of WikiLeaks herself found this out from the leaked and um, the leaked emails from Hillary Clinton and felt she needed to speak up on this. And this just highlights another issue and concern I have in general for Hollywood and for a lot of people who we love and we may support who are in these situations is that unless people choose to speak up, a lot of these things just continue on because nobody's saying anything. And that's unfortunately what's happening. In, in the cases of Britney Spears, and I've talked about Britney on this channel, she's at least now free from the conservatorship although we're questioning even that at this point which i will talk about in another video by the way by the way guys so look out for that um you know we've seen that these people it's not been safe for these people in in, in the industry and so i'm con and and how the things that these kinds of people have gone through even amanda Bynes is another one i've been talking about as well so check out the videos about her um it's very clear that these people um have not been in a safe environment and that despite in whilst they were going through everything they went through there were at least enough adults around seeing what was going on who could have stopped it and evidently clearly have chosen not to and that's why i'm talking about this stuff because we never know what's going on behind closed doors we never know who's secretly being affected because everybody's just covering everybody's butt and i talked about this in the media in my my series about the media so definitely check out those videos and i talked about how the rich keep themselves staying richer and keep the poor people getting poorer because they all work together and they all use their demonic and disgusting and satanic um, 
practices together and rituals and they protect each other because if you've got one person who's in control of, and i talked about this in my media videos in at length so you can understand fully but i talked about if you have the media and the media being in bed with the government but then the media also making money from advertising from businesses you've got this lovely little cycle where we're all gonna shut up and protect each other because the government wants to stay in power the media wants to continue to control the narrative for what we think because that means that they have power that other people want the advertisers want to be advertising with the media because then the media are going to make the money because they've got big platforms because we all watch the news thinking we're getting unbiased critical journalism which we're obviously not getting and so it benefits all of them to support each other and obviously social media stepped in the picture as well which is a more intimate version and i talked about that in another video as well and so we're just in this whole bubble where these guys are all working together and there's only five companies by the way in this world right now who are in control of all of 90 percent of the media um in the united states and are the five biggest companies as i mentioned in a previous video as well um media biggest media companies um as far as forbes are concerned it's just five of them and it was only 40 years ago that there were 50 companies in total and these same companies have gone and bought out other companies like children's tv shows book publishing companies record labels and things like that so that they're really in control of all areas of our lives and so that's probably why we don't hear a lot of this information that's why the likes of people like hillary clinton can get away with this because hillary can say she knows what she's connected with because it was her campaign executive who coined the term the walnut source or at least from the sources that i found and so because they all know what they're doing and they all know that they're doing it together it only makes sense for them to support each other and to you know cover up what hillary's done because like i've said before why is it that they they request all this information of trump which eventually he had to give out okay and a lot of things this trump has done is not good it's not that i'm trying to be here and be like trump is amazing he's perfect i'm not saying that but i'm saying if you're going to be the media who's supposed to be unbiased have that same energy for everyone why is it that all of a sudden hillary stuff is just disappearing off the, fa the, the face of the earth and we're not talking about it and yet the founder of wikileaks felt that it was necessary to mention this and do you know what kind of a risk that is for her but obviously she must have felt like well i can't hide this because this is despicable and disgusting like we've been talking about so that's what I'm going to say in this video. This is why I've added Hillary to our Witches of Hollyweird. I've been knowing she's one of the Witches of Hollyweird and just the world in general. But I just wanted to wait until um, I had more proof, more things to kind of say, um, to back up my claim. But she just, I just knew that it was there was something wrong. Because for the media, who is as corrupt as they are, um, to be protecting her, I knew that she must be along with that corruption as well. So if you do want to hear about those other things, check out my The Media playlist um, where I talk about lots of different things to do with the media. You can check out all the videos in there that are going to be coming out because I'm going to be talking about them at length. Also, check out my other videos about the other witches of Hollywood and just my videos in general about what goes on because when you look at all these things together, when you look at the people in power and the things that they're, they're allegedly doing, and I say allegedly because this is YouTube and now because people want to not be in trouble for things that they're actually doing, we all have to say allegedly so that we don't get sued. But anywho, and things that people are allegedly doing, then if you look at what the child stars, all of our favourite child stars have went through, and if we also look through the media and where the media is, once you put those three things together, all of a sudden you, you've got a very beautifully, very clear painted picture of exactly what is actually going on and exactly who's in control and exactly how evil all of this stuff is. So you guys let me know your comments and in, in your thoughts in the comment section down below. What do you think about all this stuff? How do you feel about me exposing this stuff? How are you coping with it? Because it's a lot to deal with. Like, And I just want to say as well that don't feel like you have to act like it's you're coping any better than you are because it's a lot. And even for me, it's a lot. It's a lot to look into this research and find that this is what's really happening. But I feel like it's important to speak up on it. And I'm glad that I have spoken up on it. And I hope that it means that more and more people can know and we can be um, in control of our own lives and understanding who and what is at power because these people are really in control of a lot guys and when you if when you guys find out like who controls the media and these five companies that i mentioned and what other companies they control you will realize that they actually control pretty much everything that we see or listen to or read which is pretty scary so other than that thank you so much for watching my video don't forget to subscribe 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 i'd appreciate you guys' support so much obviously like i said already let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below and like the video. Other than that, God bless you all and I'll see you in my next one.